Hi there, in this lecture we're going to talk about how to get publicity by leveraging events. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. And the events can be two kinds of events. It can be events that you put on or events that are put on by other people and other organizations that you can leverage and you know be there as like an expert speaker or something or presenter. Okay? You want to leverage both. First, let's chat about leveraging other people's events. Okay, it's easier because you don't have to organize it, you don't have to promote it, you don't have to do anything. You just show up, do your thing, talk about your stuff, and uh, hopefully, you know, there will be people who in the audience who will be interested. And the, the idea of events, right, is that if you present at good events, at some point, journalists will either be in the audience, okay, and covering that event which means they're going to talk about you. Or, if the event is really cool, um, it might just get press on its own. And I'll give a little bit of a couple of examples how I got press um, a little bit later in this video. So, and I'll also show you, um, actually I'll show you now. So, you can, and if you don't know where to look for events, you're not sure, definitely do your own research and you know look into it. But I want to give you one good example. Um, of meetup.com. I don't know if you know this website. It's a popular website. I have it open. It's uh, meetup.com, meetup.com. It's free for you to use and browse. I mean, if you want to organize your own events, you have to pay. But if you want to look at other people's events and join those, that's free. So here's what you do. Like, let's say uh, I'm in the mobile app business. I created some mobile apps. Let's say that I search for mobile apps, right? And 10 miles radius, right? And I want to see the groups and I, I just search and it shows me all these groups, all these groups, NYC apps, NYC, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm, I'm around NYC. That's why it's showing me that. Um, so let's see. Okay. NYC app startups. And you see that they have an organizer right here and I'll actually make this a little bigger for you guys. So they have an organizer right there. All you do is read what kind of events they have, like what, what the themes are typically and you can actually contact the organizer and pitch them your unique presentation, right? And what do you pitch them? How do you know what to pitch? Well, it's the same pitch that you pitch anyone when you approach them. Bloggers, podcasters, whenever you try to get publicity, you make, you know, you kind of make that cold pitch, right? It's better if you know them, then it doesn't have to be a cold approach. But, you know, obviously what you want to do is make it so interesting that they're going to be like, wow, I got it. This is a cool thing for my audience, right? You got to get that reaction out of them. And of course, you already know how to do that because other lectures in this course talk about that. So, I mean, that would be a whole thing in itself. I may just add another lecture later, but on this, just because it's such an important topic. But essentially, you know how to pitch your, um, your unique value proposition and you got to get them excited. Or at least you got to come up with that and then you can use it over and over um, on people like meetup organizers and all kinds of other people that you approach. So let's go back to our slides here. So that's pretty much how you can use meetup. Just contact the organizers, see if they're interested in having your type of event. And you got to contact a lot because when you approach people, approach people coldly, like without really knowing them, there typically isn't a high success rate. So you have to approach many people so that you will have a couple of um, events that you can present on. Okay, and of course a lot really depends on the pitch. What exactly, how good is it going to be for the audience, right? So that's other people's events. The good thing about them is that they already have an existing audience. You don't need to promote it, you don't need to organize it, you just show up and talk, right? Um, but it's hard to get on them. And sometimes you just run out of events that you did, right? Sometimes you just run out of groups um, to pitch. And then it's a good idea to kind of talk about your own events. Um, think about what you can do for your own events, right? Same issue happens, same issue, right? You basically, journalists might be in the audience and they might talk about you. But, you know, your own events can also give you your own revenue. And, you know, you can get your own immediate clients. And the cool thing is that you can run them regularly, right? Maybe every month, every week, depending on how successful they are. And uh, the way that I did it is... Um, when I had my own event series, um, I ran really cool and unique events so that people in my local area 
started to really recognize my events because they had so much uniqueness and you know originality to them that people were like wow this, this really stands out right and then journalists were happy to cover them because it's good for their audience and they knew to look at you know what i'm doing um you know you kind of train them over time even to like hey you know every week or so i'm doing this and they'll be more apt to check out what you're doing um so that's how you do your own events and of course you know i've gotten publicity many times like secondary publicity whenever i presented anything i'm doing at somebody else's event maybe there are some sometimes there are some people some journalists or bloggers or podcasters whatever in the audience and if you perk their interest enough they might write about you um, later so you get kind of the, the publicity from the event itself but also the secondary publicity from whoever is sitting in the audience and usually there's a lot of people who have you know exp who are able to give you exposure who are sitting in the audience and if you impress them enough with your presentation and they like what you're doing you can get publicity from them so events are a great place to present and also to get publicity so that's one really good idea that worked for me multiple times with multiple different businesses and it can really work for you